Happening right now at 530, residents in Clay County, some of them say they're fed up with trash remover FCC environmental services. So they've created multiple petitions asking county commissioners to address what they call an issue. The trash hauler took over operations in the county just last month. And you may remember back in August, FCC's contract was canceled in St. John's County. News for Ducks reporter Khalil Maycock joins us now live from Orange Park. And Khalil, one of the petition organizers says the service is too costly. And actually what he means by that is he says he can't afford to buy another one of these containers. This is what FCC uses to take the trash away. This one right now with his is partially full, but he has three others that are completely full like this one. And he says those likely won't be emptied because he doesn't have another one of those. Ryan Higginbotham is throwing away his trash. If you take a look inside this trash can, it's three quarters full and the trash hauler FCC Environmental Services emptied it yesterday. One trash can for six people. Well, one trash can FCC Environmental Services will remove. These other three large bins are filled with his family's waste and flies, but they won't be touched because according to FCC, the waste must be in their bins. You can get another one of their bins, a 95 gallon garbage cart for $66 or a 65 gallon cart for $61. Plus, there's a separate quarterly collection service fee of $15.33. And if you throw away just a bag of trash, it must have a sticker on it that cost $4. Are you able to afford to buy another one? I cannot right now. No, I cannot. I, I, I really can't. Um, I mean, I could, but I'd be like broke basically, you know what I mean? So, and that's sad to say. On top of not being able to afford to throw away his waste, Higginbotham says he's had troubles with pickup. For those reasons, he and others have created these three petitions calling for FCC environmental services to be terminated or for commissioners to solve the problem. Another resident in Clay County hopes those petitions solve the problem. Until then, she plans to burn her waste. It's not really a good thing to do for the environment, and it can create hazards, but it's like, again, what do we do? Higginbotham says he does the same thing, but to reduce waste as well, he started feeding his leftover food to chickens. So that waste isn't going into the trash and taking up much needed space. And I did reach out to FCC Environmental Services and Clay County asking about the petitions as well as more garbage cans and the price. Clay County responded in part saying, we are aware of petitions started by residents regarding our new trash service. FCC Environmental Services started on October 1st and has a 99.38 success rate. This service is similar to what dozens of other counties in Florida use for garbage service with a similar size can. Residents can report any issues they experience online and we have a link on Clay County countygov.com. Reporting live in Clay County, Khalil Maycock, Channel 4, the local station. Khalil, thank you so 